Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is Tuesday, which means I have a grocery haul for you guys. Typically in my grocery hauls, I stick to Walmart, but today I decided I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go to Aldi, walk through there. I don't typically do my grocery hauls there. Like I said, I have a couple times, but it's been a while since I've been in there and I decided to just go in, check it out. And I'm so glad that I did because I feel like I got so much stuff for such a reasonable price um, compared to what everything else is these days. Lately, it's been pretty normal for me to go into Walmart or do a Walmart pickup and get one week's worth of groceries and spend between two and three hundred dollars like every week. Um, and I don't even get meat from Walmart really. So I figured something's got to give with that. Let me go see what Aldi has to offer. Um, and like I said, I'm so glad that I did. Um, maybe for you, where you live, the price won't seem that great, but to me, it was just such a breath of fresh air. Uh, but I did still end up going to Walmart afterwards and grabbing just a few things, mostly some snacks and a couple non-food items. So first, I'm going to share what I got from Aldi with you guys, um, and then I'm going to put that total across the screen, and then after that, I'll put all of the stuff that I got from Walmart and then share that with you. I don't have a meal plan for this week. We're just gonna kind of wing it. I know that I'll probably do hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill one night. I'll probably do some salmon. I did get a few things from Aldi that are new to us that I wanna try out, so we'll probably experiment there. Oh wow, that sun just got covered up and it feels so much better and looks so much better. Um, anyway, what else? I did have another plan. Oh yeah, BLTs. I think we're gonna do BLTs one night. Uh, well, for me and my husband and then the kids will have like some breakfast, bacon and eggs or something, maybe breakfast burritos. But anyway, I'm gonna go in here, unload all this stuff and then show you everything that we got. All right, here's everything I got from Aldi. I'm gonna share that first and then put the stuff that I got from Walmart up here because the stuff I got from Walmart isn't a whole lot. All right, I got two different kinds of ramen. I got the like regular little packs that you cook on the stove. And then I also got the cup of noodles um, because my husband likes to put these under the Keurig and just have those for himself whenever he's feeling sick. And then the kids prefer these ones. So I got one of each. And whenever I'm shopping at Aldi, if they have something like this that I know I could also find at Walmart before I purchase it, I open up my Walmart app, search it up and compare prices. And if it's cheaper at Aldi or even the same price, I just go ahead and get it there. And if it's cheaper at Walmart, which is not usually the case, then I hold off until I get to Walmart. I got quite a few bread items as well. I got these non-flat breads because I think I'm gonna go to Costco sometime this week and I like to get hummus whenever I go there. So that's what we like to have this with. And then I got a loaf of the Nature's Own Honey Wheat, which I could get at Walmart, but it was like 50 cents cheaper at Aldi. So I went ahead and grabbed it there. I got these sesame seed brioche hamburger buns because I think we'll probably do an easy dinner like hamburgers and hot dogs sometime this week. So. I also got brioche hot dog buns. And then I got a four pack of corn on the cob. My kids love corn on the cob. And then I was really excited to find this. It was big salmon fillets for 50% off. So they were like $4 and some change. Um, so I got two of those. They're really big. I'm not sure if you can tell. So I'll probably put one in the freezer and then cook one sometime this week. I've never had this before, but I thought it looked good. And I was happy that it was like a smaller size pack of tortellini because a lot of the times I feel like whenever you find tortellini, they're in big, huge bags or packs. And I know we're not going to be able to eat all that. Um, so I grabbed this because it was a small pack. And then I got the deli sliced turkey breast, um, honey turkey breast for my son, hopefully hopefully he'll like it he usually likes ham sandwiches for his lunch but he hasn't been eating them so I wanted to switch it up and get him some turkey I also got a bag of mandarins that I was so happy to find because at Walmart bags of oranges at least at my Walmart you can only get them like huge five pound bags and we can never go through them all before they go bad and I couldn't see how okay yeah this is three pounds so way smaller. We'll definitely be able to get through those. So I picked that up. I got this pack of yellow squash. I haven't had squash in so long, um, but it was just sitting there and I used to like it whenever I was younger and my mom would fry it up on the stove. So that's what I'm going to try and do with some onions, have that as a side one night. 
I got a bag of croutons because they were like less than a dollar. I got this bag of the flavor blasted um, goldfish. I also got this box of the honey nut crispy oats. You know, they're supposed to be like Cheerios. Um, they did have honey nut Cheerios there, but they were almost $5 a box and the box wasn't even as big as this. And this one was only like like less than two dollars so i figured we'd give that a try and then i also got a half gallon of organic whole milk and then i also grabbed this 18 count of a variety pack of chips for the kids lunch boxes this was the same price that it would be at walmart but since i was already at aldi i just went ahead and grabbed it there i got a bunch of bananas all of their bananas looked really good all of their produce looked really good today um, so I also got a pack of grapes. These are candy hearts grapes. I don't think that they're like a different flavor. I think that that might just be a company name. Um, let me know if you know, because I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully they're not a different flavor because I want my kids to eat them. But I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed a pack of strawberries because their strawberries looked really, really good today. And I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but my daughter really loves like plain sushi rolls like this. This is shrimp and avocado, but it's frozen. And so you can take it out and let it thaw. And I figured maybe I could do that in her lunchbox um, as just something a little bit different. So I grabbed that in the frozen section and we're gonna give that a try. This was an impulse buy because I just thought it was so tiny and cute and it sounded pretty good. Sarah's sugar cookie dessert in a jar. Keep refrigerated or frozen. So it's just this tiny little jar. It was like a dollar and it's got a little graham cracker crust down here. And then I'm not sure if you can tell in there. Yeah, it's got like little confetti pieces up here in the like what is it cream cheese or something i don't know we'll see and then the last thing that i got from aldi was just this heart-shaped cheese pizza because it's cute and fun my kids like cheese pizza so we're gonna give that a go too so a lot of new stuff that we've never tried before i'll let you know over on instagram how we feel about it once we do try it um, but i will leave the total for aldi across the screen right here so this is all that i got from walmart which like i said it's not much at all um, they didn't have the thing that i originally went in there for so of course i ended up just walking around and browsing and ended up getting a bunch of snacks we don't need but look at the amount of this stuff compared to what i just had from aldi and then compare the two prices at the end and it's absolutely insane granted i did get some non-food items here but still it's so wild to me, the price difference. So for all the snacks that I picked up, I grabbed these white cheddar popcorners. I don't think we've had these yet. We usually get the sour cream and onion or the um, sweet chili ones, but they've stopped carrying the sweet chili ones at my Walmart. So I figured we'd give these a try. And then for myself, I just got these baked flaming Hot Cheetos. And then of course I got my Southern Butter Pecan Creamer. I did get a box of the Be My Valentine snack cakes while they still have them because Ava really loves these. So I like to occasionally put one in her lunchbox as a little treat. And then I grabbed some Oreos just because we haven't had them in a while. Um, I compared prices at Aldi and this was surprisingly a little bit more expensive at Aldi, I think, than it was at Walmart. So I waited and picked these up there. I got some cookies, the limited edition um, heart cookies from Pillsbury. We've already had one box of these so far and these are Raymond's favorite. So I grabbed a box of those while they still had them. And then we haven't had these yet, but these are the Lucky Charms sugar cookies. And I guess they're supposed to be for like St. Patrick's Day. So I figured we'd give those a try at some point. I got a pack of bacon for the BLTs and breakfast one night. And then I got us a rotisserie chicken just to shred and have on a salad for lunch today. And then the rest we'll just have put up throughout the week for whatever we may need it for. And then for all of the non-food stuff that I got, ooh, I did get a box of the Equate, um, basically Theraflu. It's like a tea, it has all the same main ingredients um, and it's a couple bucks cheaper. So I went ahead and grabbed a box of it. And then I got this little mini fry pan. I've been seeing it as like the little random things they have hanging in the aisles. And I figured I'd just go ahead and grab it because I've been wanting some fried eggs and I don't have any tiny pans like this. So I figured I'll just pick it up, give it a shot, see how I like it, especially because it's dishwasher safe. That's why I decided to go ahead and grab it. If it's not dishwasher safe, I don't want it. I got this little Mardi Gras headband for Ava because 
where we live, we celebrate Mardi Gras and the parades are all coming up. And I thought that this was cute. It lights up. So she's going to love that. And then for myself, I saw these little sandals that I hadn't seen yet. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I think you can. They're kind of sparkly. They have like little fake um, diamond studs in there that shine when the light hits them. And I just thought that those were a good neutral sandal for the spring and summertime. And that's everything that I grabbed from Walmart. And I'll put that total across the screen right here now. All right, y'all, that does it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.